Hi there, I'm Mike Russell. Thanks for tuning in. Ever wondered what the difference between the world's quietest room and the world's loudest room is? Well, in this video, I'll show you and I'll explain the difference. We'll have some fun along the way. And also, you can occasionally go a little bit crazy. I'm really excited. I'm about to walk into an anechoic chamber and I think I'm about to have an experience because this room is super silent, no reflections. Uh, let's see what happens in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is really crazy. Wow. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Earlier this year, I had the chance to travel and see the fantastic team at Bayer Dynamic in Germany. Full link in the description, by the way, if you want to watch that company tour. Now, as they're a company that builds microphones, they need world-class testing facilities. And this is where the quiet and loud rooms come into play. Let's start with the quietest room in the world. It's actually called an anechoic chamber. Part one, anechoic chamber. The anechoic chamber is minus 9.4 decibels, the world's quietest room. So quiet, you can hear the sound of your stomach, heart, and blood flow. To put that into perspective, the general background noise of an urbanized area like a city varies from 70 to 110 dBA in many places, whereas in rural countryside areas, the decibel output is typically around 60 dBA. So for a normal person going into this room, the experience can be very disorienting. Sometimes we need a little peace and quiet to stay sane, but it turns out too much peace and quiet can drive you crazy, nor even make you hallucinate. The daunting lack of noise makes it near impossible to orient yourself as you walk in the anechoic chamber, as we humans rely very heavily on subconscious acoustic and visual cues to navigate when walking. It doesn't help that the whole floor wobbles as it's suspended on a wire mesh. Other than making some people feel uncomfortable, the room is actually used by companies to test how loud or quiet their products really are. This includes Whirlpool, Maytag, and GE appliances, Medtronic medical devices, 3M audio products, hearing instrument films, automotive switch firms, and door closer companies. As well as this, an anechoic chamber is actually used by NASA to train their astronauts for the silence they'll experience in space. Part two. Loud Room The reverberation room is the opposite of the anechoic chamber, and it's designed so that the reverb is as loud as possible. The shape of the room also allows the reverb to be as diffused in the room as possible. Okay, now you're listening to me in stereo from the reverb room here at Bayer Dynamic. Hopefully, you can get an impression, particularly if you wear headphones, what exactly this room sounds like. Reverberation effects are often used in studios to add depth to the sounds. Reverberation changes the perceived spectral structure of audio, but it doesn't actually alter the pitch at all. Reverberation chambers are used in acoustics as well as in electrodynamics, such as for measurement of microphone calibration, measurement of the sound power of a source, and measurement of the absorption coefficient of material. Oh, and there's Charlie. The artificial head and torso simulator you can see in the footage is an important resident of the reverberation chamber. Chamber. The simulator is used for headphone and microphone measurements, and it simulates the human ear as well as the head and torso which influence the sound we perceive a lot. Here, I'm going to show you side by side how each room sounds. Hello! You've left me in here! Whoa! That's cool! Okay, so that's a wrap. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite bit of this video, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more audio geekery. If you've not done so already, check out musicradiocreative.com. This is where my team of 200 plus audio professionals can help you with voiceovers, radio jingles, DJ drops, podcast intros, music, ads, and much, much more. Until the next time, keep calm and produce on, my friends. Radio Creative.com